Are you watching closely? Nick? Every great magic trick consists of three parts or acts. The first part is called the pledge. The magician shows you something ordinary, a deck of cards, a bird, or a man. He shows you this object. Perhaps he asks you to inspect it to see if it is indeed real, unaltered, or normal. But of course, it probably isn't. The second act is called the turn. The magician takes the ordinary something and makes it do something extraordinary. Now you're looking for the secret, but you won't find it. Because, of course, you're not really looking. You don't really want to know. You want to be fooled. But you won't clap yet, because making something disappear isn't enough. You have to bring it back. And that is why every magic trick has a third act. The hardest part is bringing what we call the prestige. Man, he's too old. How can he... I can't even do the trick. You don't understand. This is the trick. His whole life is pretend. Solid plastic. We've seen this before. Boom! 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 Boom. Go home to London, you wanker. Go home. Boom! What does your, mo your mother teach you that trick? Come to see the bullet catch, did you? Are you man enough, sir? What knot did you tie? I don't know. <laughs> ah! Ah! I shut off my fingers! Ah, that bloody hurts! Need a volunteer. You, sir. Ordinary rubber ball, yes? No. Not an ordinary rubber ball. A magic rubber ball. Observe. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the transported man. Mr. Angiers, join me for tea. Have you ever heard the phrase that man's grasp exceeds his reach? Yes. I have this machine that will straight up clone you. It will straight up clone you. You understand this is an obsession of mine, and that money is no object. You know that obsession is dangerous. Well, then you understand with an obsession that I will never stop. Yes. Also, I think that your rival probably has a twin. How does he do it? I need to know how he does his trick. How is he performing the teleported man? Some men just want to watch the world burn. The man let my wife drown. He broke my leg. Why do we fall, Mr. Angius? So we can get back up again. I have made sacrifices, and I've gotten my hands dirty. What else do I need to do to perform this trick and become the best magician? I love you more than your mother and father. I buried too many members of the Wayne family. I'm not bearing any more. I am performing the teleported man one last time. And on that day, you need to be there to see me perform this trick. On that day, I won't want to, Mr. Angius. Ladies and gentlemen, in my travels of the world, I have seen and behold many different things. Things that have given me visions of the future. Tonight, we'd like to show you some of those things. And it is not magic. It is science. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the real transported man.
Hello? Who's there? A brother? A twin? Which one were you? The one in the box, or the one that came out? We took turns. The trick is when we'd switch. See, you never understood the price of good trick, Angie. Sacrifice. I made sacrifices. I never knew if I was going to be the one going in the box or taking the battle on the stage. What was it all for? It was the look on their faces. Now you're looking for the secret, but you won't find it because, of course, you're not really looking. You don't really want to know. You want to be fooled.